Hello and welcome to this training video. In this video I want to show you a new feature that has been released in iOS 8 which was the Apple software update of last week and the feature is called Braille Screen Input and you can see it on the screen on my iPad. Now this works on both the iPad and also the iPhone. And as you can see on my iPad, I have six dots of Braille displaying. Now before we jump in at the deep end and start demonstrating this glorious feature in more detail, I want to discuss a few basics first. Firstly, the Braille input screen is accessed via a feature called the rotor. Now the rotor is a virtual control that is part of the voice over accessibility feature. VoiceOver is a screen reader that is built into iOS software and the rotor is a handy shortcut giving quick access to lots of accessibility features that people who are blind or visually impaired will find very useful. But you can only use the rotor when VoiceOver is on. So you need to activate that and turn it on from your settings app. Now the, the rotor is activated by placing your thumb and index finger on the screen and spaced about an inch apart and then rotating them in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction as if you were turning a dial. So let's give that a go shall we? So I'm putting my fingers on the screen, although of course you can't see this, but hopefully the rotor will appear as I rotate. There we go. So you can see the rotor. As you rotate your thumb and finger, a white clock face on a black background appears on the screen. And instead of this clock face having numbers on it, the different accessibility features appear. VoiceOver will read them out as you rotate, rotate through them. Now I have voiceover on but its volume is muted so that I can record my voice for this video. Now as I said earlier, the rotor is a powerful shortcut that gives access to a whole slew of accessibility options when voiceover is on. I will create a separate video explaining all of these options in much greater detail. Now the second thing I want to say is that iOS, the software that powers the iPhone and the iPad, has had a number of browse settings for a long time. And these settings have enabled a blind or visually impaired user to choose between various different options in Braille. To choose between 6 dot or 8 dot Braille, or grade 1, or uncontracted Braille, Braille sorry, or grade 2, contracted Braille for example. And again, I will create another video in which I explain and demonstrate these options for the visually impaired user in more detail. Okay, back to the Braille input screen. So let's get, put my thumb and my index finger on the screen and let's get the rotor back up. There you go, you can see the kind of black clock face and there are the different options going around. Perfect and so there's our six dots of braille. Now the position of these dots varies with the angle that the iPad is held at. If the iPad is on a flat surface such as on your table or on your lap then the dots will appear like they do on the screen in a flattened V shape and this is the position that my iPad is in at the moment. However if your iPad is in a more elevated position or on an angled surface, for instance if you use your iPad on a stand, then the three dots will appear in a line on either edge of the screen. Dots 1, 2 and 3 will be on the right hand side and dots 4, 5 and 6 will be on the left hand side of the screen in a vertical line. So here we go, I'm actually going to change the position, I'm actually going to tilt my iPad upwards so it's going to be perpendicular with the table and as soon as I start to tilt it at kind of like a 45 degree angle the dots move to the edge of the screen. Now it also it doesn't matter the position of the dots is not dependent on whether or not you've got the iPad 
in that you're holding it in the landscape mode which is when it is kind of short and fat or the portrait mode which is when it is tall and thin so to speak it only depends on the angle that the iPad is laying at now an immediate and obvious criticism that might spring to mind is that the position of the dots on the screen is meaningless if you can't see them yet the remarkable thing is that as you lay three fingers from your right hand and then three fingers from your left hand on the screen ready to use the braille the dots can change position to match the location of your fingers so let's have me doing that again so there you go and can you see that actually I'm moving my fingers around the screen and that those dots are following the movement of my fingers which is terrific so let's do it with the other ones as well just to show you so there's the three fingers and then as I move my fingers around the screen they follow them as well okay now you can input Braille in any app that accepts text input and there are obviously numerous amounts of apps that do accept text input. Now I'm not 100% certain about this but I would think that this Braille input works best with the apps that are built into the iPad such as the messaging app, notes, Safari, mail, we could go on the App Store, all of those apps that actually Apple have created themselves and I would think if you were to have any problems it would be with apps which have been downloaded from the App Store and were created by people um, not from Apple okay so let's see if we can um, try it out let's see if we can get it into notes so here we go you can see that I've got voiceover on because there's a black highlighted box around anywhere that I'm pressing so I've loaded notes up um, and let's just do quickly do a new note okay and there we go so let's see if we can try it out in in notes now and let's see if I can quickly type something okay I don't know if you probably can't see that on the screen so let's get rid of it there you go I've just typed hello hello in braille and it's actually appeared okay I'm sorry if there is a slight awkwardness in in the video at this point it's just there was a technical hitch and I seem to have lost contact between the iPad and the video screen so we've tried putting some braille in uh, using notes now let's try Safari so there's a so Safari's opened up nicely for us and into the web browser I'm going to see if I can type in Braille and get to the BBC site so here we go and there you have it the, uh, the BBC address is appearing on the screen thanks for watching this video this has been all about the new Braille imp new screen Braille input for iOS 8. It is a new develop development and so there are bound to be limitations in it and bugs that cause it to go wrong and need to be ironed out. But let me know in the comments if you've used it yet, what you really like about it and the frustrations that you have when you use it. Thank you for watching.